All right, David, let me ask you, as the executive director for the Conservative Leadership Pack, what do you look for in a potential hire? Well, really what I look for is mostly two things. I'm looking for people who have sustained enthusiasm and an ability to work with other people. Um, this is actually kind of directly a skill that I learned out of the Leadership Institute's Youth Leadership School. Whenever I, I go to a youth leadership school or I teach at a youth leadership school, I, I'm really always looking for kind of top graduates out of that course that display those two qualities. And that translates very, very well to campaigns. As a matter of fact, I only hire top graduates out of the Youth Leadership School. Let me ask you then, what is the Youth Leadership School? The Youth Leadership School, uh, the best way to describe it is the boot camp of politics. Um, we call it that for a reason. It's a very intense, long, hard, and difficult school. I mean, whenever you think of a boot camp, you, you don't think of um, you know, something that is very easy to accomplish. There's a lot of people out there that are involved in groups, that are involved with many different youth organizations. They're kind of the army uh, of the movement, and I think the Youth Leadership School really finds the special forces in that boot camp. So going off of that, would you say that everyone is qualified for this training? Who exactly should be taking this school? Well, it's not for the timid. Um, it is not for the weak. It's not for the faint of heart. This is a very long and intense training. These are uh, schools that are designed for people who really have a passion of learning how to organize a mass group of young people. Um, you can organize thousands of young people using the skills that we teach in the Youth Leadership School, and that can be very helpful to a candidate or a cause of your choice. It sounds like a pretty exclusive training. Yeah, it is. It's not uh, not for everybody, but I, I will say that students who attend it always they come to me afterwards and they say that they got more out of the two day course than they did out of four years of, of maybe a political science degree. Right. In terms of takeaways, uh, what will I learn from the Youth Leadership School? How does this school actually benefit me? So in the Youth Leadership School, you learn the principles of mass-based youth organizing. Um, you learn how to recruit students to your cause, you learn how to communicate your message, and overall you learn how to be effective for a candidate, a principled candidate that you care about. Uh, you mentioned mass-based youth politics. Um, I'm wondering, you said that a few times, uh, what, where exactly have you seen young people make a difference on a political campaign or in the political arena in general? Absolutely. Well, we've seen it thousands of times since uh, the training was started back in the 1960s. And we saw it very prominently first with Morton Blackwell, CEO of Leadership Institute, who did it for Ronald Reagan. Since then, it's been done thousands of times for many, many candidates, including Donald Trump. And in 2016, um, I was Donald Trump's youth coordinator. We were, we were able to employ some of the tactics uh, of mass-based youth organizing, I think, very effectively for him. You saw him outperform Mitt Romney, outperform John McCain um, in that youth demographic in 2016. And a lot of that had to do with these kind of basic principles of mass-based youth organizing. Uh, we also saw it this year at Conservative Leadership Pack with Michelle Steele, Burgess Owens, Madison Cawthorn, Yvette Harrell, uh, many of these folks that had really successful campaigns in very, very tight races benefited from this form of youth organizing. Well, going off prior campaigns, what do you foresee, David, as being the biggest challenge we face going forward into 2021 and beyond? What do you think the conservative movement needs the most? I think they need young people. Um, they need young, skilled activists to be able to organize and recruit their peers. Um, we, you know, have always needed a fresh supply of young people coming into our movement, and that really energizes the movement. That really uh, can be beneficial to our candidates. They're kind of the, the workhorse of the conservative movement. Our energetic young people and the youth leadership school and the principles taught in the youth leadership school are really what can help young activists to, I think, successfully organize thousands and thousands of their peers.